Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Right. Overgrown with weeds and cluttered with trash, it was an eyesore at a local school. But as News 4's Gabby Acevedo shows us, volunteers came together to make a school in Washington Heights a better place to learn. The area next to the Equity Project Charter School has been growing weeds and vines for the better part of the last six decades. Garbage covered this whole area. Today, a joint effort from volunteers looks to turn it into a bio-learning garden for the school. Removing trash and clearing thick grass and bushes to create mulch. It's all part of a plan to build a new garden that will serve the students at this elementary school in the heart of Washington Heights. Well, you hit that the end of this pathway and it was just jungle. There was an old homeless encampment back in here. You know, it was a lot of debris. Back in the early 1900s, this space used to be the grounds of the Fort George Amusement Park and Casino. Fast forward to today, fifth grade students taking part in the effort to revitalize the area, a way to develop their sense of belonging to their school. For the new students that are coming to TIP, we'll like help them um, to see like we actually clean the earth and we care about our environment. You have tools in your hand. I mean, uh, how is that all about? Are you used to this? Well, it's new to me, but I like to garden, so yeah. I want this world to be a better place. And don't litter. Yeah, don't litter. Hundreds of volunteers from two local nonprofits spearheaded the recovery of the abandoned lot that is a part of the school's campus. This gets us out into the community, getting our hands dirty, literally, uh, working with local partners like the Equity Project Charter School, uh, rebuilding together in New York City. The goal is to improve the quality of living and the surroundings of low-income communities, aiming to raise the self-esteem of local residents. It's great to have people from out of the community come and help, but I think it's very important and essential for all of us to involve our students and have them uh, be lead the way. And it is only possible through teamwork and the collective effort of committed New Yorkers. Without these volunteers, these amazing, incredible human beings that come out here and make this lift for us, we don't operate, we don't function, we don't we don't do. Reporting from Washington Heights, Gabby Acevedo, News 4 New York. Good to see that.